it's still a time to have hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still time for you to have hope. Submit. Still time for you to be able to have hope. Sorry, guys, I'm just getting some last minute people in. So are you ready? Let's let's let me let me see if I can share this vine dresser word. So listen, when well, you see vine dresser, what are you talking about? You may be new. That's just how God speaks to me. I stay in my lane. A lot of times it comes out what as if the vine dresser is talking to me. Jesus is a vine, and I'm a branch and the vine dresser. He's saying this to you. He's saying this to you, okay? Grab this. Listen to the vine dresser. Dear child of mine, I see the raging troubles of your heart as you face the high waves of rough seas from your circumstances. More than that, I hear your desperate plea for help. I am here as your mighty stronghold in the day of your raging troubles where you feel you can't even help yourself right now. This was written years ago. God's word is timeless. This is the vine dresser. March 10th, April 10th, sorry, speaking to you. And then he goes on to say, grab this word. I am here. The pain of the process has a purpose for progress in my kingdom. Let's shift it. The pain of the process of this virus. Even I can make a purpose out of this. Even I, says the vine dresser, can bring progress in my kingdom. Come closer to me in quiet. FRP. Come closer to me in this quiet place in my garden and let me gently speak my confident hope and breathe Holy Spirit wind of strength into your lifeless sails. I am a safe, warm place from the storms and a shadow from the heat of the process of the pressing issues pounding your heart. The pressure issues now pounding your heart. The questions, the fear, the doubt. Know that I rule the stormy sea. Know that I rule over this virus and the stormy ways. As you cry out in faith, I am at work in your heart, in the work of your situation. Yes, even if you feel you have no faith at the moment, I can still glide across the out-of-control waters trying to drown your hope, no matter how fierce the gale of winds are blowing for you right now. It might take a little time sometime, but I will turn the titanic of tribulation and trials around. I will turn your tide. I will turn the tide. I will hold you close, child, as you wait for the turnaround, as you wait for your tide to turn, as you wait to see those dreams that you believe. Teresa's talking about dreams are going to come true. The Holy Spirit is speaking, not to Teresa, but the Holy Spirit is speaking. The time will be the process to perfect you in your faith in the vine in Christ, and you will see progress and restoration. Off cue, what if this time you implemented the FRP and like never before found soul health for yourself that affected your whole place, your whole environment? You will see progress and restoration because God's a God of restoration. God's a God of hope. I'm going off cue. Now, fix your eyes on me. I am the author and perfecter of your faith. I will accomplish what concerns you. Your concerns become my concerns. You can trust me. Your times, your life are in my hands. I will not drop you, dear one. I will not drop you no matter what the news says. I will not drop you no matter what your bank account says. You are my daughter. You are my son. I will not forsake the plans and purposes of my laid down lovers. Though you may not see it right now, I am turning it around. Psalm 118, the message is where I got that. God has turned the tide. If you have fallen, here's my hand to pick you up gently, FRP. No pit is so deep that my hand can't reach down and pick you back up with tender mercy and compassionate care. I will never let you go. 
Remember, child, you've come from a place of victory in me. It it may seem at times I'm asleep in the boat, but I am not. Off cue, Jesus is not. He's slipping his head on a cushion. I have not forgotten you. I have set you apart for such a time as this. So let me give you the eviction notice to your fears and doubts. Cease striving and rest in the abiding. You have a secure place in my heart in the garden. <laughs> that was written how many years ago? God's word was written how many years ago? And now it's so, I mean, get a hold on it. FRP, if you're joining us late, we're talking about a process where you can un hitch your emotions. You can unlock your emotions with the focus into the reality, into the promises of God. Redeemyourvoice.com. Redeemyourvoice.com. You can go ahead and receive that download. And it's like, yeah, you do it in the morning. But once that becomes, once those truths start permeating in your heart, you can go through your day and like, whoa, wait a minute. I mean, that happened just the other day. I was slow. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What's bothering me? <laughs> like, grabbed it. Mm, okay. Mm, that kind of hurt. Mm, kind of made me doubt. And then boom. <sighs> bring in a promise of God. We are spirit beings having a human experience. That always sets things a little bit better for me. We are spirit beings having a human experience. And right now, the human experience sucks a little. I'm kind of tired of listening to the woe is me and the rage and the the fear. Granted, I don't deny it, but I know faith's going to supersede the reality. But what if I walk? What if this time is the time you walk like never before, understanding your identity, understanding who you are, understanding whose you are, that you are the one who gets to, from that place of soul health, from that place of identity, get to take authority over your emotions that want to hijack your hijack them, take authority over them, which not only affects you, it affects everyone around you. This season with the family and everyone pressed inside, you might learn this word that's so hard for you to learn. And it's no. On a good day, I do well to manage me. You may have to find space, and the only space you can find is in the bathroom and taking, telling people, hey, I'm going to be take a shower and just take a long shower or just stay in there a while, knock yourself in there. Or this might be a time where you have to, like never before, go to the vineyard and rest there and let them speak to you. I don't know about you, but the Holy Spirit during this time is coming to me so fast. I can't type up fast enough. This might be your major time of revelation like never before. Your back may feel like it's against the wall. You might feel like you've been sucker punched one too many times. Take up the shield of faith. Take up the word of God. Gird your loins with truth. And put aside the fear-laden coffee chats and take up your sword and fight. (laughs) Fight for love with the authority of your faith. I hope that's resonating with someone. Because our heart is to stay in our own lane and declare identity truths. Releasing you messengers grit and true grit generals releasing identity truths because People are waiting for you. If you're listening this long, this raw, or this long to this fireside chat, there's a reason. Because God's got your number, and He's looking to you. No pressure. This is saying this is saying no to striving and yes to abiding. 